Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, without further ado, it's it's announcement time here at Post Wrestling. Are you ready, Way? If I had a sound effect, I would play it. Well, uh, we, we do not have that level of technology on hand for these live shows. Uh, but Post Wrestling is about to grow. This is a, a very big deal for both Way and I and everyone here at Post Wrestling. We are going to be expanding the Post Wrestling universe with a new program that will be a staple of Sunday nights here at postwrestling.com. Ladies and gentlemen, the mystery man himself is here at Post Wrestling, Brandon Thurston. Welcome to Post Wrestling. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I, uh, I've got the, the press release right here, hot off, hot off the press this year. We, we didn't even get the draft. So ladies and gentlemen, no, the, the floor is, is being uh, handed over to our PR our... department. Just handed this over. Uh, this is Dateline, Toronto, Ontario, and Buffalo, New York. This just came across this biz- the business wire. Post Wrestling and WrestleNomics announced today that they have completed a landmark international agreement effective November 1st, 2021 for the global distribution of WrestleNomics acclaimed weekly podcast. WrestleNomics Radio joining forces with an integrated media organization like Post Wrestling is the perfect formula, said Brandon Thurston of WrestleNomics. Both our brands are sure to excel to unprecedented heights thanks to this new strategic partnership. Together, Post Wrestling and WrestleNomics head into uncharted territory, forming an alliance that the likes of which wrestling media has never seen before man that Big just news. brings it brings a tear to my eye right now i mean it's not just brandon it is the wrestlenomics universe that is coming here to post wrestling uh chris gullo uh, yes. vince vince might make certain cameo appearances on sunday nights we can only hope if uh, if his voice allows uh this is uh this is a great great news for us brandon we are like psyched to have you uh, coming over to the site i know our listeners our viewers are very familiar with all of your work whenever we do shows together they always get among the most responses so i think this is going to be if they're not already listening to wrestlenomics it will now be their staple sunday nights will never be the same ever again yes sunday is we're going to stick with sunday on the schedule i think we've we've agreed to that um yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to continue doing the podcast and continue to get to know the post-wrestling listeners better. I think there's a little bit of crossover, but I know there's a lot of people who are probably new to WrestleNomics. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to be working with you guys, as I've told you already in our secret meetings. Um, you, know, you guys are really engaged with my work, which is a big deal to me. Um, and mm-hmm. I'm always super impressed for one thing when, when I'm talking with John and he like he knows the, the minutiae of the details of, of the wrestling business that uh, I expect you to know. Um, and I think I've, I've mentioned this in one of my early appearances with you guys, but I think it, it bears repeating that. So I live in Buffalo and I grew up as a listener in my teen years to live audio wrestling. Uh, just, I, I could just barely tune it in. If I t- you know, ha- have my little stereo, if I turn the, the antenna the right way, I could pick up uh, gentleman, Jeff Merrick and big daddy, Tony across Lake Ontario. Uh, this blew I, my mind the first time you you shared this story. Number yeah. one, uh, that you were aware, and B, that you could get this signal into Buffalo. I mean, that was uh, I- extraordinary. Yeah, well, it would always be after pay per view, so I would, I would watch the pay per view on Scramble Vision, and then I would I would listen to them talk about the pay per view. Um, I'm, and I'm going to text my my like my high school friend uh, soon and be like, "You remember? I used to carry like a, a the you know people had splash images on their websites, and it used it was like a picture of Jeff Merrick." And, and big daddy Donnie. And I like printed it out as a 14 year old in ninth grade. And I had to like <laughs> at lunch and we would like talk oh, about right. wrestling at lunch. And I don't know, I was just such a big fan of the show. There so you go. obviously pro- po- post wrestling is kind of the predecessor to uh, to live value wrestling. So that's very, very cool. Very exciting. When it comes Brandon to like the, the work that you have been like engaging in and what, what have you found, especially I would say in light of like the last two years where you have this, this realistic competitor to WWE emerging the, the appetite you have found for this kind of uh, c- content and how that's growing, because it just seems like it is a growing appetite for the type of stuff you're doing uh, that, that just makes it a, a very interesting way to be following the business that so many this is their way of following the business. Yeah. Well, I, I always say that you know, wrestling is a really subjective thing. It's, it's obviously, it's kind of, it's a pseudo sport and the winners and losers are predetermined by 
by somebody, usually one person's decision. People have their favorites or people just try, are just trying to understand the business and figure out what's effective. If this was football or hockey or basketball, we would have some stats or a score at the end of the game to study and say, these are the objective facts. And I think in lieu of that stuff in wrestling, we look to the business numbers, the business stats to try to find out if something was a valid decision or not, or if something was a good business idea. And uh, that's kind of what we specialize in, in WrestleNomics. Um, and that's become an increasingly interesting thing for people to follow as, as AEW has emerged as a, in many ways, a competitor to WWE still, still well behind in a number of ways, but uh, you know, it's really been an exciting time in, uh, in wrestling history. And I think like you've really kind of made a name for yourself for being just a tremendous presenter of a lot of that information that I think a lot of us didn't even know we wanted to hear but or, or see. But uh, you create these incredible graphics and these incredible charts. And uh, you're so on top of it and fast with all of these numbers all the time that you've really become, um, I would say, you know, I think a leading voice when it comes to this sort of department. Um, but as far as, you know, the radio show, WrestleNomics Radio, what can our audience expect on a weekly basis from you and Chris? We, we talk about whatever's been happening in, in the world of business, wrestling business, uh, all the latest news topics. I do, uh, I do live TV ratings talk, which is kind of a new YouTube program that I've been doing on Thursdays. So we're trying to minimize the, the TV ratings talk that we do and focus on other areas a little bit more. Um, yeah, we, we will go over all the areas of, of wrestling business, and that's increasingly it's a media business in terms of it's people selling video in all forms, whether that's live TV or whether that's a streaming product or whatever. But there's um, it's a live, biz live event business again. There's tickets actually being sold again since July, so we're covering that. There's a great source called WrestleTix that's doing a great job of covering that, and we're relying on a lot of that data too. Um, but yeah, just uh, anything that's going on in the wrestling business. The most recent episode, we talked quite a bit about the news related to Ring of Honor and what's the future of Ring of Honor. Mm -hmm. um, had our friend Lavi Margolin on, who provided some great insight. So all, all that stuff. So that'll be Sunday evenings right here on the Post Wrestling feed. But those of you who already subscribed to Brandon's WrestleNomics radio feed, you will continue to get your shows uh, as usual, whatever time you usually get them on Sunday afternoons. And that's usually the first place where you can get the shows. But for our audience, Sunday evenings slash Monday mornings, I mean, the spot that the law used, used to be on, Brandon, how about that? Tying all yeah. things together. The boyhood dream has come true. <laughs> there you go. So uh, a very exciting stuff, of course. And awesome. uh, we're, we're going to ease into things because it's a very quiet week when it comes to uh, WWE business. Uh, you are going to hear plenty of Brandon this week. Uh, not just with the launch of WrestleNomics on Post Wrestling this Sunday night, uh, but him and I will be convening on Friday to go through the whole third quarter earnings report and a highlight of the calendar, mm -hmm. the call with all of the with all of the analysts to go through all the minutia, get some more color. Where are we going? Granularity. Vince granularity i mean it's all gonna I, be covered. I think it's since nick khan has been there i i say this is not just a conference call anymore that we that we tune into <laughs> corporate.wb.com this is the nick khan podcast it is the nick khan uh podcast where i mean he makes some bold uh bold projections sometimes he breaks not news he breaks news he knows we believe that so-and-so is going to be renewing at a very healthy rate and we the NHL believe and nbcu they're done that is it. Nick Khan has been a, a, a just a godsend for for these calls. So uh, look forward to that. The Nick Khan show on Thursday, and then we will discuss the fallout on Friday. Uh, but just in closing, Brandon, um, this is a real big deal for us uh, to have you here on the site. Uh, I I think the world of all of your work, and it's uh, I'm really nice. looking forward to all the different things of uh, involving you in the site and more stuff that we can do. Yeah, me too. I, I think the world of you guys too. I've, as I've told you, I think. Your work is exceptional. The way you guys do reporting, the the humanity that that you guys uh, demonstrate. Way's got a program called the Wellness Policy. I mean, you got, I think you guys are great at what you do and how you do it, and I'm I'm really excited and honored to be a part of Post Wrestling. Well, this is uh, just step one, and we will slowly work your way up to uh, meeting Brandon from New Jersey. But that's that's several steps down the road. I've I've heard, I've heard of this character. Yes, yes, everyone has, and uh, he's a uh, he's he's an acquired taste for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brandon, and uh, we'll be chatting with you later this week. Cool. See you then. All right, okay. there you go, everybody. Brandon Thurston of WrestleNomics Sunday nights here 
at postwrestling.com.